hi guys welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to be looking at how we can combine multiple table into a single table so which is called a view so we're going to be using view to track all the tables we, that we need to query in our app or be web application so um so the first thing that we need to do is let's say for instance if i go to my table editor and let's say i have a list of um, tables so for instance, I have a user here, I have a post table and I have post views and then this is the like. So, so let's say, okay, I have one single document here and then also for the post details, I don't have any documents. I have a post here and I have a single user here. So this is the table. So let's say I want to track uh, posts. For instance, I want to show posts um in my app application so of course i will need to query the post and then let's say i want to also get the view count and also the like counts and then i also want to get the user that posted it the username out of it so and if you look at our uh, post here we only have um few column we have the id of the post the created ads and then we have the contents and then the user id this is the user that posted it so let's create um our view now so we we'll go to our table edit uh, sql editor and then we have a blank um editor right here so let's start by saying create this is create or replace you will know the reason why i'm replacing replace uh we'll call replace view we we'll call the view and we say post detail count most detail views rather detail views and then we say as and then we select we select let's say the p dot star which means we are selecting all the fields from the um, from the role from from or from post from post so let's create this so let's run this query uh, okay so it's saying oh sorry so i need to also because i use the p here so what i need to do is post as p and then we run the query so here we have our views that is created for us so if you go to our database um, a table editor and then we are going to see the post views there so you can see this is the post now so it's which is also the same thing as the post because it's having just the fields so now let's add this we need to get our view counts which is the total count of views with the same post id and then also total counts or total like counts with the same post id so because this likes as a post reference of the post id which is this so now let's go to our editor and then add all of those fields so what we are going to do is this so um I'm supposed to format this um okay so what we are supposed to do is this in this um table so we are going to also let's say um let me put this in the next line and then i'm going to have a comma here so and i'm going to say i'm going to have a um brackets uh, brackets open and bracket close and i'm going to select select and we say count we want to count the total value which is we id is the only thing that we need to select from the count so and then we select count from um likes where we have where okay we can also give this likes a name as a k or l where l dot post id the post id is equal to um p dot id and then we convert this to an integer i will say we call it like likes likes count count exactly so let's do the same thing for um also we need to do the same thing for the uh, views also we also select we select select count also uh, we are counting the ids from views post views yeah we are so let's give this bv where pv dot post id also post id is equal to p dot 
ID also, and then we convert this to count also an integer which is views count. Then also let's do another thing. Let's track the user ID, the username actually. So we're also going to select from the users also. We select the username because we have a field called username from users as you where um so where um you dot id which is user id is equal to which is the post dot user id there's a field user id which is this and then we convert this which is of course is a test we convert it to test and we call it the username so this is going to get the username of the user from the user's uh, table. So now let's run this. Let me check if there's no error. If there's no error, so let's run this uh, reviews. So correct, we have Sussex. So let's go to our table editor and then let's check what we've done. So now you can see here yeah, we have, you can see, yeah, so this is the user who created the post. We have the views counts and then we have the likes counts also. So let's say for instance, um, if I go to uh, this likes now, uh, let's say likes, let me add another insert, another table, another role. So this is going to be automatically generated. This also is going to be automatically generated. And then let's get the post ID that we need to. Let me use this also again. And then let's use the user ID should be, we only have one user out now, so which is Daniel. And then we save this so now we have how many likes now we have two likes with um with same post id so we should be having two counts now like counts in our post details views so yeah you can see what i'm saying here so this tracks the likes numbers of um likes document uh, likes uh, rows that we have and then these views also tracks number of documents inside of it so this is how you query i mean this is how you combine multiple table into one um single views which you are which of which you can use inside of the application or any kind of and uh, wherever you, you are querying it from so thank you for watching my tutorial if you're a newcomer kindly subscribe to my channel hit the like icon and also hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever i release a new video thank you for now and see you later bye